You guys need a lift? The man asked the two. Raising a hand to let him know it wasn't necessary. It isn't too far, and the weather is nice and warm. It'll be fun to walk over there. Claire answered appreciatively, happy that the military police were so friendly with the people living inside the fort. Yeah, we're going to have some girl bonding action happening. Hannah grinned. Our parents are still working inside the labs. Waving his hand understandingly, the man said, I get that. Make sure the two of you stay safe. The woman named Celine leaned forward. There'll be another patrol coming through this neighborhood in case you need to drive back. Let them know that Celine told you that they can drive you back. Thank you. Claire smiled at the kind thought of the woman. As the vehicle drove off, Claire and Hannah continued to wave at them. When they couldn't see it any longer, they continued on the sidewalk on their journey to reach Hannah's house. Most of the time, as they walked, they were gazing at the stars above them. Due to the number of houses occupied inside the fort being so low, the light pollution was almost non-existent. It allowed them a clear view of the night sky. Occasionally, they spotted a shooting star streaking across the sky. To save time, they cut through the back towards the nearby park. They could see the various playground equipment for children to enjoy, such as swings, slides, and hanging bars. Want to stop by? Hannah suggested, seeing the swings and pointing at them. Claire nodded, picking up the pace to reach the swings. The sound of the chain squeaking could be heard as a light breeze passing through the night gently pushed the swings. Claire grabbed one of the nearby swings and sat on the rubber seat, feeling the chains pressing against her sides like they usually did when sitting on them. Taking the hold of the chain, she began swinging her feet to start the motion. Not putting much effort into the action, Claire moved a couple of feet back and forth, enjoying the feeling of movement. Next to her, Hannah mimicked the motion, having fun on a swing. Swinging back and forth, Claire's thoughts slowly began making their way to the emergency shelters. She thought about where the entrances could be located. Feeling the breeze against her face, she looked around at the dark playground. As though sensing her thoughts, her body felt unusual. Dragging her feet along the wood chip mulch, Claire slowed herself to a stop. The sound of her feet dragging felt louder in the empty neighborhood. Shortly after, Hannah's feet made a similar dragging sound as she slowed to a halt. Claire? Hannah asked, confused. Not hearing her friend's voice, Claire focused on the feeling inside of her. It was as though she forgot something important. Something inside of the playground was making her feel as though she was being drawn towards it. The sensation was something she never felt before, which made her confused. There's something about this place, Claire muttered to Hannah. Looking at her friend, it's like, I need to know something. Like being reminded of homework due the next day, Hannah's eyes widened. You know what I'm talking about, right? Claire noticed Hannah's reaction to her words. Tilting her head, yeah. Hannah's voice was quiet, clearly looking confused. As Claire got up from the swing, she started to track down the source of a strange feeling inside of her. Walking further into the playground, the sensation growing stronger inside. <laughs>